what's up? This is Joey Blush Response, and today we're taking a look at the Noise Engineering Cursus Teratos Procedo. This is a very interesting digital wavetable slash additive morphing, I don't know what, oscillator from some of the finest purveyors of dirty digital. Let's get into it. Okay, so we've got the Cursus. Got it sequenced by my trusty Stilson hammer and it's going straight into the Mamia phone just to bring it some atmosphere when we want it. Let's take a look. I've never used this one before, so I have really no idea what to expect, by the way. Let's try the noise engineering signature wave folder. I think it's a great addition to all their modules. Always nice to have that there without patching. We're just doing basic, basic modulations here. Let's start bringing in some envelope. So I really like this Master Blaster knob. It's both a reference to Mad Max and Front 242. And obviously we can see here that it's like a master control for the envelope, which is cool forwards and backwards. So if we have everything in the max, texture that's something I could listen to for 10 minutes so you know in the background of a whole track yeah Ooh. Let's try, let's try the other algorithm. Deep one. Oh, let's go back for a second. Nice. Some tough bass. So much fun you can have just with this Master Blaster knob. Alright, back to the Fourier, I believe, mode. Ooh. I'm, I'm hugely into these vocalish tones. Just. Really do it for me. Wow. Wow. 
mean, that's also a testament to how beautiful the mimeophone is. It just blends with whatever you throw at it in the most perfect way. Like this and that decay. And the, the complexity of the waveform coming out of the cursus is like, wow. Ooh. Epic, epic, epic shit right here. Now into the Walsh mode. I would say this one is definitely the most subtle of all the noise engineering modules. True to their name, it's very easy to get noisy with their stuff. And this one certainly has the noise. But it's it's a bit more restrained, and that's not a bad thing at all. It's it's quite cool. There's a lot of depth. I mean, just listen to that, like... So many realms of liquid metal. Okay, so I've got a little drum sequence set up coming from the Basimilis. It's gonna complement this pattern, and we're gonna build on that. See how they play together.
isolation into the algorithm input and let's see what happens. Yeah, nice. I love these little, like, wavelets, almost. You can do a lot with this in some short delay times. Again, made me a phone. Bringing it together in the way that I like. Let's just start feeding it modulation while everything else is happening and see how it goes. I already love the dynamic morphine capabilities we're hearing right now. It's just really special to me. Yeah, okay, see? Keep them coming. We'll use every jack. Bring the drum back in. sources we got the woggle bug the modcan quad lfo and the industrial music electronics kermit all contributing to this right now in various ways some of those textures are just phew, sounds like it's talking to me Hear it talk to me more. Okay, so I set up some other drums, all from noise engineering. We got the Laquelic doing a hat, and the man is doing a snare, along with the Simless kick we already had. And we're just gonna let that play out. Basic sounds. We're already somewhat crazy. Nintendo Entertainment System. Noise Engineering Entertainment System.
Curses Eteritas Procedo. So that was pretty dope. I think I've barely scratched the surface here. Lots of interesting textures, definitely some worlds I could live in for a while. Hope you like it. As always, samples of this jam are going to be up on my Patreon. If you like and subscribe, it would be a great help to me. Love you. Love you.